Hey, it's Laurie Minson here from Tamworth in Australia. Going to do a demo video of the latest incarnation of my M7 pedal. This one's been around for a little while. I've added some uh, extra features and I'm going to talk you through all that now. Uh, okay, if you're familiar with any of my previous M7 pedals, um, the compressor was always just an on-off and the settings were adjusted with trim pots uh, inside the pedal. Um, what I've done with this one, I've managed to, I'm still using 24 mil pots, uh, but I've just managed to, by get, using smaller knobs, I can now uh, have the com controls for compression and volume uh, on, the, uh, on the top now, so you can get to your compression settings. Uh, and uh, because this compressor's got gain, you can use it as a clean boost. So there's a, a couple of different really cool ways to be able to use it. Um, so that's about unity gain. Now if I just bump it up a little bit, that'll give me a clean boost just with a little bit of compression. If I want more boost, crank it a bit more. Now you'll notice it's really clean too. Been working on the noise floor. Um, this is um, a lot cleaner now, uh, which is great. Uh, okay, now a lot of uh, country players especially like to use that over-compressed kind of vibe. So to do that, I'm just going to crank this up. And what's going to happen is the volume is going to come up. So we'll just bring that back to about there somewhere. Just a little bit there. Okay, so... Here we go, this is clean, and here's with a bit of extra compression. You can hear it really catching the front of the note. I'll go flat out just so you can sort of hear what it does flat out. It's really catching the attack there and usually you lose volume when you do that so because this has got gain you can you can actually crank it so really great actually very happy with the, how that compressor is sounding uh, now the again what I've done here I used to just have uh, a gain control for the dingo I've now got a volume as well um, which is really great um, so you can go from pretty much clean uh, here I mean you can hardly even tell it just pushes the mid slightly but um, so that can work as a clean boost as well with that cranked up uh, plus if you back your volume off, crank the gain, you'll hear it starts to break. Fantastic rhythm crunch. And take that compressor off. Okay, and then if you want to go flat out, it's always good to just show how, how hard it'll go. So this is really handy if you just want to run a clean sound on your amp and then just rely on all the drive from the pedal. Uh, so that's the new improved Dingo. Okay, now the old King Brown is one of the last ones that's still got a trim pot uh, for the output. Um, it's like a power amp, it really just... It will get a little bit louder. But it's really meant to just give you that fatter, uh, like a tube output stage uh, overdrive. And then, of course, you can drive it with the dingo. And you can drive it with the compressor. So you've got a bunch of different options uh, between clean and drive just with those three there. Uh, now another improvement here uh, with the tremolo, uh, this um, used to just have a speed control and you would adjust the depth and the output volume 
with trim pots. A few people have been asking about having an adjustment for the depth of the, or you know, the amount of effect of the tremolo. Um, so what I've done, because I'm just trying to keep the board simple and uncluttered, and I, I just don't like those little toggle switches because they break. Um, so what I've got is a pull switch now for the depth. Uh, so when the knob is down, um, that's a mild amount of tremolo. Okay, um, which you can still set with a trim pot inside, and then when I pull the uh, knob up, that uh, makes a, it gives makes a thicker, more blend of the tremolo. So you can hear it's just really pumping. Um, so that gives you um, more options with the uh, tremolo now as well. So very happy about the way that works uh, and still keeping the board nice and tidy. Uh, now from here on, um, if, if you've seen any of my videos, you'll be familiar with how all this works. There's a delay uh, that's got um, time, mix and feedback. Uh, that's all pretty self-explanatory. The time knob controls the delay time. Mix the amount of effect. And then feedback is the amount of repeats. You crank that up. You'll hear more repeats. And you can pretty much flat out slow. A lot of repeats. In one of the other videos, I won't go into it here, but you can adjust the uh, tap tempo um, using the time knob. Um, you hold down the tap tempo switch and uh, and turn the uh, time knob around to get division. So uh, you hold this down. As you turn this, you'll see the you'll see the uh, indicator there start to blink. Um, that'll give you time divisions. You can have a bit of a muck around with that, and so you get four, that's quarter, dividing by quarter, and then you get three and two, and when you get back to it blinking once, you're back to one to one. Uh, but anyway, that's that's something you can have a little bit of a muck around with. It's, some people use it. Um, I usually just have it set to one to one, and just use my tap tempo. Okay, so that's the delay. Pretty cool sounding delay. Um, then I've got a uh, boost, which is here. And the boost is at the back end of the chain. Actually, the reverb uh, comes next. Um, not a bad sounding reverb. Just got a blend control. If you want to take it completely out of circuit, you want true bypass, just pull the knob up and that takes it out of circuit, so it's back to true bypass. Um, otherwise, no reverb, lots of reverb, I usually just leave it on, um, but I like to be able to offer the true bypass option uh, if you want it. Um, so as far as the chain goes, the last one in the chain now is the boost, which is uh, the goanna. Now notice a lot of these are Australian names, a goanna is a big lizard, so it looks like a lizard, but it's bigger. Um, so. <laughs> It's this one's just as your sound is the same, there's just more of it, and it's controlled by uh, a, a volume knob here. So you got a nice little bump there, actually, very good. Um, and then also, if you are cranking hard with your drives and your gain is a bit too hot, you know, if you're really going for some massive amounts of gain. You can uh, tame all that and pull that, pull that back a little bit too. So it'll work as an attenuator as well if that's the way you want to use it. And when you turn it off, level comes up, of course. Um, and somewhere around about 12 o'clock, so usually about unity gain. Yeah. So there it is. Uh, there's a 
couple of other features that I've included on some of the other videos. There's a balanced output uh, if you're going into a PA or um, a recording interface um, that's got a bit of level, extra level and a bit of EQ as well to um, just to compensate for the loss of um, high frequencies uh, when you when you go into some of those devices um, and um, just the usual there's a spare DC socket there if you want to run a tuner or another pedal or anything else so um, there it is that's the um, 2021 December 21 M7 Minson Custom Pedals. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little demo video. There's an email listed below if you want to get in touch, if you're interested in uh, finding out a little bit more about my paddles and especially the new M7.